Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Um, so, so Zuck and Musk are gonna fight in a cage, dude. And I would pay, pay for that on pay per view. This is this is so hard because this is another like two weeks ago episode. It's all right. I'm going on vacation. <laughs> yes, yeah, Jonas vacation week. Uh, this effort. is post topic stuff because yeah. I'm going on vacation. So I mean, I'm here to watch it. I guess. Am I gonna buy it? No, I'd probably just. I'd stream it off the internet or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, hell no. Well, the thing that I saw is, like, I guess Zuck's been learning taekwondo and, like, jujitsu and, like, yeah. winning tournaments and yeah, stuff. And he... Musk is, like, 50 and doesn't do anything. So Zuck probably would whoop his ass. Yeah, Zuck would probably whoop our ass. Yeah, I mean. I've never won a taekwondo championship. I don't know about you. I've never taekwondoed anything. When's the last time you won a taekwondo championship? When's the last time you jujitsued anything? Uh, We did go to Capoeira. Oh, ish. And then I did a, a quick a kickboxing course for a little bit there. Yeah. We did do you, Capoeira. We did that one-handed handstand reverse kick, dude. That was good. We did not do. We did not do any Eddie Gordo stuff. We were learning Eddie the basics. Eddie Gordo stuff. We learned, like, the basics of Capoeira. I can't even do one of those things right now. I don't even remember anything about it. It was fun, though. I enjoyed it. Was it was all right. The it guys was, were interesting. It was a workout. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Makes me want to do it again, honestly. But. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I I go play sand volleyball constantly, I so I I didn't like the guy, dude. I didn't like they were playing. The guy was in there like playing drums while we were trying to like learn. I couldn't hear. It's because it's a part of it's a part of it. I'm sorry. Um, I don't want someone playing drums while I'm working out. American guy, but uh, I'm dude, afraid that's the if way. If you were at the gym it, and there was just some guy in the corner like pounding on a drum, like would you? Well, how would you feel about that? <laughs> It'd be different if I were at the gym working out versus doing a cultural music based dance martial arts themed fighting style where the music is a part Why of Why you gotta it. get all technical? Because that's what he told us there and that's what I knew going into it. Oh, we had to And like that's what I thought you knew. I didn't realize that your only experience with Capoeira was through Tekken. Through only the strong <laughs> in, in Tekken, bro. I didn't realize that at the time. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't know you were expecting a different experience. Like, oh, I can't like, stand all like, too many grab, drums in this music. <laughs> go grab a stick and hit it on the... Uh, we, had, we played a we played tunes at the end. Uh, we played some jams. <laughs> Typical Jonas Boomer shit. Oh, this music's too loud for me to <laughs> capoeira to. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate, and this man's banging on a drum. <laughs> Man. Oh, my God. I, uh... I feel like that the mm -hmm. whole Zuck Musk, I mean, maybe I'm being clairvoyant. Maybe I'm speaking before the happened, even though it's going to come after. Yeah. I feel like it's distracting from something. <laughs> I mean, it's just a couple of uh, guys with big, what do you call that? Uh, wallets. Yeah, big wallets and big like, and big names making, you know, a little, a little jokey joke. I don't think that Elon Musk at 50, whatever the hell he is, 50 years old, is going to seriously get into a cage match. He said lol at the end. That means it's a joke. He knows that he can't beat Zuck, man. Zuck is like, what, like 30, 35, 40? I want to, can we see Zuck fight somebody? I would love to. I mean, honestly, there's probably footage of him fighting. I, I would like to see, see him, him fight like Tito Ortiz. Uh, I think he would. Probably and Tito Ortiz lose. is old now, so it That's would be true. it would That's be true. like kind of fair. That's. I mean, you're not wrong. Get but George Foreman up there, fight Zuck. I just don't. Still alive. <laughs> I don't think Zuck doesn't seem like the guy, the type of guy with a killer instinct. He doesn't seem like the type of guy that could do like UFC. He doesn't seem like the type of guy who has any instinct other than I mean, make money. You got to recognize who you're talking to. You're talking to Big Zuck right now, all right? You ain't talking to Mark Zuckerberg. You're talking to Big Zuck. Oh, right? BZ. Big Zuck will will spin kick your ass in the head, all right? You <laughs> think you <laughs> fucking. put me in a chokehold with his gi and, <laughs> and send me out. Exactly. Dude. Okay. You all put right. you in the this isn't, and you'd be done uh, for. this isn't Marcus Zuckerberg. No, this is not Marcus Zuckerberg. This is Big Zuck. And Big Zuck's out here winning win the contest. Winning jujitsu contest. Either way, man, good for him. I I would love to get into kickboxing myself. I just don't want to take a punch. If I could get into kickboxing and never take a hit, uh, I'm I mean, that's why you good. go to class. And don't go to fights. Yeah, but you get, still got to take hit. I, like, I feel like... It's not like they're in there like, hey, oh, it's your turn to punch TNT in the face now. 
No, if, no, but if you get hit, you get hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do accidentally sometimes nah, get hit. I still feel like getting hit is a part of it. Like, if I'm going to get good at it, I'm going to have to take a hit. You got a full spar? Imagine that I became like a jujitsu master, but I've never taken a punch for the first time I get hit. I just ball and get, get to a feet of prison and start crying. <laughs> You're a black belt. You go to a competition, somebody hits you, you just start exactly. crying. I'm out here doing freaking katas like crazy, looking great, doing triple kicks and extending my ankles and shit and then i just take one hit and i'm down so yeah i don't it's kind of like skateboarding like skateboarding always look glamorous to me oh it's always yeah something. you get real hurt doing that exactly but a part of skateboarding is like if you're a skateboarder you're gonna fall you're gonna break stuff. and that and yeah and that's that's another anyone who's a famous skateboarder has broken, broken bones yeah yeah that because that you gotta go big you try big stunts and you can only do you can only do it in a somewhat controlled environment yeah. Like, you're going to try to grind a rail and fall and break your goddamn arm. Yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah. You're, those videos where you fall and look at your arm and they go, oh, my God. No, and like, <laughs> stop. I hate those. You, you don't like those videos? No. Yeah. I, I don't know what the worst ones are. Are they the ones that, like, the bones break like that or the ones where the boards, like, jam into their crotch really hard? Like, it gooches them no. real hard? Like, you land on the vertical board and you're like, bro, it feels like they just split my gooch up. Dude. That shit used to be big and like the uh the 90s 2000 no no not gooch splitting <laughs> but like the skateboarder videos you remember like skateboarding vhs's dude i used to love watching skateboarding back in the day <laughs> you would just watch like people at the x game remember the x games dude i went to the x games you went to the x games it was at it was in austin when was that uh 2000 15 oh so before i was here there was a it was here for five years okay in a row and me and my ex-wife went the first year and it was it was it, well, it kind of sucked <laughs> it was it was dude it was it was so effing hot it was oh. like it was like 105 degrees that day yeah, and these man. mother efforts are out here trying to do tricks and shit and the, the thing that really sucked though here's the part that sucked the worst and i think this is what made us so mad about it it was the first year, so it was very unorganized because they didn't know what was going on, right? It's the first year doing it here at Austin. That you, so, like, you could buy band. You bought a band to go to the X Games, and then you could buy bands for, like, prime seating for, like, skateboarding or whatever. And we bought the prime skateboarding band so we could get good seats for skateboarding. There was nobody there checking anything. So people were just – or there was, like, one person trying to check everyone and keep it organized. So, like, you show up, and you can't even get in a good seat because everyone's sitting wherever the hell they want. And, like, it was, it was hot. Everyone's just, like, sweating everywhere. It was just, like – it was. I was just like, – we went for, like, half a day, and we were like – I was like, you ready? <laughs> she was like, uh-huh. I was like, let's go. Like, we didn't even go back the next day because it was just, like it – was, it was not a good experience. Yeah. I mean, look, man. Hot weather coupled with like a bunch of pe other people's body heats and odors and smells and just like I don't know yeah yeah I, I can yeah. understand I yep. can understand but yeah man it was a uh, it was a uh, it was cool I got to like see like pro skateboarders Did you see Tony Hawks no it was after him dude. was it Bam was... Margera there yeah he was killing someone in the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's going to rehab now by the way again uh yeah, I mean you know I mean, he's really rich. It only takes one time for it to actually work, you know? I mean, the last time. <laughs> it only takes one time, man. So to say that he shouldn't do it is insane. But you know, I would never say he shouldn't go to rehab. He should definitely go to rehab. Yeah, he has troubles. <laughs> he should definitely go to rehab. Yeah, he really I, I've should. Never been to, I've never been to like a... Uh, rehab? No, I've never been to a uh, a an Olympic event because X Games is like Olympics, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a it, well. Now that skateboarding's really in the Olympics, it was literally the skateboarding of the Olympics up until that point. Yeah. Oh, so now X Games is over with. Is X Games? I think done? they still do X Games. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I don't. I I don't watch it have anymore. You, have so. you been watching any of the new football? What's that? The AFC? What was it called? You know it. XFL. Called. The USFL. The USFL. No, that's just trash. Why? Wow. I mean, like, I want it, it to. Be, I want it to be good. Keep it a buck. I like it. Keep I, it a buck. I want it to be good. Yeah. I want to watch it. Yeah. It's it. 
they're the players aren't very good man, compared to NFL. Like it's mm-hmm. like it's like you're watching like kind of watching college. Like, but there's still players in college that are going to the NFL. Like these are all people who didn't make it in the NFL. Uh. And like, so I mean, like it it might see. Well, here's what happened. So back in the day, oddly enough, Donald Trump was involved. I remember there was USFL back in the '80s, and what started in in the turning point was when big college name athletes decided to sign with the USFL instead of the NFL. And that became the turning point. Like, big name talent started going to the other league. And people were like, well, oh, crap. Like, if these people are going, it might might, might be legit. Well, then Trump decided to go head-to-head with the NFL and because they were the spring and they were the fall. And then they got – the NFL whooped their ass in ratings and they went bankrupt because they tried to go head-to-head. Yeah, you can't um, do that. You can't, you can't do that. No. Because they had a good thing going. Like, we're the spring league, you're the fall league, right? And they both mm-hmm. had – but until – until a big name like athlete goes to one of those leagues, it's gonna it's essentially gonna be minor league. I mean, I I did honestly the the championship game for I think it was the XFL was in San Antonio, and I looked at tickets, mm-hmm. but they were the cheapest tickets were like eighty bucks plus after the fees it was gonna be a hundred and twenty dollars or something for shit ass seats, and I'm like I'm not paying that to go watch that. Like no, I'm not. And it was hot. Like I'm like mm. Nah. Well, I hope the XFL does better than the uh, the USFL. I hope there's three football leagues that are all successful and have great talent. Yeah, but no, none of them can pay what the NFL can. Like, that's oh just, yeah, that's just endless they're amounts making, of they money. They probably make less than we do to do that. Yeah, exactly. They probably make like thirty thousand dollars a year to like because they're but just you, they just want to play quote unquote professional football. Yeah, they get to do what they love. Right. Exactly. Like I would p- get paid way less money if somebody was like. We'll pay you to do the podcast for a living, but you'll make like two thirds of what you make now. I'd seriously consider it because I would love my job a lot. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. Like, it, but with the, with the potential for advancement, though, come on, give me right. Well, I mean, if let, let me prove myself in the arena. You know? Well, that's the thing, right? Like, and that's why I think they do it. Like, an race. NFL team could see them and be like, whatever. So if somebody's like, hey, we'll pay you two to do the podcast, we'll pay, and we make like, yeah, two thirds less than we or a third less than we make now, but. They're like, we'll get you out in front of people who might pay you more money. Be like, no, let's go. Let's with, try it. With that being said, uh, my cash app is TNT yeah. Dynamite 777. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. We out.